Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Lumion. L Lumion? I'm going to guess, I'm going to go with Lumion. It's a cool underwater Metroidvania, which is a very, very interesting setting that I'm into because um, while I'm terrified of the deep ocean, I do like the aesthetic of it. Subnautica is one of the most beautiful games I've ever played, so let's go ahead and hop in. Basically, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, it's underwater Hollow Knight. There's a darkness that lurks deep below the sea's surface. The text was very fast, by the way. A lone spirit sets off to break it. But what awaits him? Countless obstacles line his path. Giant tentacle monsters. Or just a big octopus. A trial of wisdom and courage to seek answers to the darkness. What about what about power? We got wisdom and courage, we need power. We know all the Triforce. There's a light somewhere up there. Man, that text goes fast. I have to be ready for it. <laughs> Honestly, everything here is going at a breakneck pace with all these images. Ooh, that's a cool design. Ooh, those colors! I also guess I just like the color scheme of the ocean. Not specifically the deep ocean, because the deep ocean is just an abyss of darkness with occasional lights. But the color scheme, you know, when the ocean's like blue and stuff, always looks very pretty. Oh yeah, this is giving me big Ender Lilies slash Hollow Knight vibes. I'm in it. Always down for more Metroidvanias. God, just, just make them all. Make a factory. It just makes Metroidvanias. What's that one uh, company Square Enix I think has? I think it's called Tokyo JRPG Factory. We need that, but for Metroidvanias. Okay, so we can wall jump constantly and we can grab hold on walls. So there is no limit to how much I can wall jump. I do need to point out, uh, which makes a lot of sense, the game is a little floaty, which I liked. I was wondering if it was going to be slightly floaty or not, since it's taking place underwater. So I'm happy to see that we are a little bit floaty. That is neat. Alright. God, see, that's so beautiful. But if I was playing not a 2D game, this would terrify me. If I was playing a 3D game, hmm, nah. The path ends here. They actually talk, that's interesting. Maybe it's as they say. We fairies weren't meant to leave the darkness of the seabed. I couldn't have been the first to come up with this idea. Others before me must have gotten this far too, only to give up in the face of this impossible distance. But what can I do about it? The distance is greater than my abilities will allow. I hate this feeling. Who's there? Is someone there? It's a giant monster looking at you from the darkness. Chin up. Hmm? Whale friend? No, spirit friend, sorry. Also big Ori and the Will of the Wisps vibes, or just Ori in general. Chin up, child. Specifically the spirit thing and the voice it has. Trust in the light in your heart. And no distance shall pose an obstacle. I can offer at this time only a meager aid along your journey. It may not be as be much, but it should be enough to set you in motion. Is it double jump? I'd be down for double jump, personally. Or a dash. Air dash is good, too. Yeah, aesthetically, the game is very pretty so far, which I was kind of a given, considering it was an underwater game. Hmm. Oh. Let us have a try then, shall we? Oh, I can see invisible platforms now. Oh wait, fly? Huh, okay, so it is just a dash. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh-huh, and it does have a limit. Can I go, oh, I can go up with it. Oh, okay. I thought it was only left and right, but no. Well, that's very good. There. 
lay many challenges ahead, but there's one thing you will always know. You are not alone. You will never be. No, oh, thank you, spirit. Stay steadfast in your determination and help will arrive in due course. In time, your path will cross and join with that of a certain trustworthy companion. As for the identity of this fairy, that is not for me to reveal. Some questions have answered only you have answers only you dis can discover. Trust yourself and trust those you meet who are worthy of holding your trust. Wow, this text goes real fast. Get my speed reading skills out here. Got a good old, good old brain exercise. Stimulating my hippocampus. Oh. Oh, that's some beautiful art. Hello. That's pretty. Whew. Okay. Okay. Yep. The goosebumps. They're here. Which, uh, the games recently that have given me goosebumps I can think of are is Ender Lilies, but also, oh my god, it's so pretty. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And we can also fly like that. I'm guessing that down there is death. We don't have a map or something yet. No, we do not. Okay. Okay. God, it's so pretty. It's like Ori and Hollow Knight had a baby, which is awesome. Okay, that allows me to like do that little dash thing twice. Uh huh. Oh, cool. Did I just get like a Celeste, a, a strawberry from Celeste, or like a bandage from Meat Boy? What? Is this more platformer than Metroidvania? Huh. That would be neat if so. I'm down. At they, they do like their spikes. Huh. Yeah, I don't actually know if there's combat in this, so maybe it's less Metroidvania than I thought. I just saw it, and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Metroidvania is hell, right? But maybe not? Maybe it's... Maybe it's more, like, platformery. At Alright, well, you know what? Boom. Uh, okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, huh. What are we supposed to do here, then? I thought I had to clip onto the side of the wall over here with the moss on it, and then jump off that dash. And maybe that's still what we gotta do? Oh, it's- yeah, I just have to do it better. Just do it better. Then you'll be able to do the thing. Uh-huh. And- boop, I didn't press the button. Okay, so this is more of just a stupidly pretty platformer than anything else, it seems. But maybe this is just for right now? Okay. Huh. Ah. Okay, well that was... that was my fault. Heh. Heh. Okay, cool. So yeah, we just got like various little challenge levels and the, the movement feels really nice. So it just honestly feels great to move around in this world. But yeah, this is more like Celeste Super Meat Boy than anything. Oh boy, I, I, I screwed up, didn't I? I think I did. Uh... Wait, how? Okay, this is mossy up here, but how am I supposed to get my dash back? Because I need to be able to do my dash- Oh, wait, is it this? Uh, get a little bit higher up there. Oh, okay, see, yeah, I think that's what it is. Alright. Cool, so it's like a puzzle platformer. Neato. Okay, I just killed myself. That is unexpected, but I am still very, very down for it. Because it doesn't change the fact that this game is beautiful. And I also like puzzle puzzle platformers too, even though um, I have a hard time with them. But, okay, so we want to go up here, get as high up here as we possibly can. Jump up. Okay, I'm trying, damn it. I've scaled Celeste Mountain. I know how this goes. And there, yeah. I did it. Okay, I imagine we probably don't want to get hit by that water, right? Huh? Okay, yep, water murders. I guess it's more like a laser beam than water, almost. 
And dash. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. It's always nice when something uh, surprises you too. Like when you go in expecting something else, but then it's something different, but it's still a really good thing. I'm always like, yeah. This is unexpected and I like it. I like surprises. Oh god. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. This is uh. This is hairy, I would say. Uh. Can. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can we dash through this? No. We cannot dash through it. Okay. That's something to keep in mind. Okay. So we probably just gotta get up there super quickly. You know. And actually jump. There we go. So we need this stuff to protect our little, little soft noggin. If we don't have this to protect our soft noggin, we will die. Whew. Okay. Mm. Run, 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 run. Yeah! Hello. Are you my friend that I need? What? Oh, oh, okay. This is the, um... This is in Celeste, I think, with the... Rooms that are very, very big. It, like, lets you switch and, like, look between... Like, look all the way down the screen, basically. Scroll when the screen's too long. Which is cool. Oh, I thought that was a platform I could land on. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay. Um... Okay, I think we need to do this in one continuous loop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't... Grab the ledge because I'm a fool. And I notice on the other side of the screen down there it says next chapter. Um that seems neat. That seems neat. We might actually be making some real progress in this here video game. Uh huh. Okay, that's not what we wanted to do. I think we want to jump from one side to the other on that one. I think. So we want to do this, and then go like that, yeah, but not die next time. That would be, uh, that would be ideal if we didn't screw up next time. Okay. Yes. And, okay. Ah, this is a time where the floatiness of the water is actually getting me. I'm snapping that stick back too much, uh, too fast. Too fast, too furious with my stick skills. There we go. Okay, um, think what I want to do is this, uh-huh, uh-huh, where now though? Oh god, I have no idea where now. Uh, yeah, I have nowhere, I have no idea where to go at this point. Um, don't suppose, <gasps> okay, that worked, that worked, whew. Whew. Okay. Okay. I see you, Lumion. 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 I see you. You got some pretty neat platforming. And I imagine we're going to get new abilities as it goes on to kind of mix things up, right? Mm hmm. All right. What is this? Can I do anything with that? No? All right. Is this game on Kickstarter? I need to back this game on Kickstarter if it's on Kickstarter. Fly into and hold X. Oh, it's these things. Yeah, they were, uh, these were in Celeste or Meat Boy 1. I remember seeing these, these bad boys. Might have been in both of them, in all, to be all, in all honesty, jeez. There we go. So we want to do that, and then that, and then shoot up, and then... Yeah, okay. Okay. As my cats mess with the blinds. Have fun, you idiots. Uh, okay. Fly through. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? Not that one. Apparently. Oh, but we can fly through that one. Wait, does this let me, like, float kind of- Oh, we can bounce off of this. Okay, that makes it way simpler. Oh my god, this is gonna get real crazy real quick. Tell you what. Why are these vines hanging out down here? Don't you guys know this is the ocean? You're not supposed to be here. 
I mean, I guess I can't really tell you what to do, but... Ooh, okay. Ah! Okay. Boom. Boom, boom. Eh. Boom, boom. Uh-huh. Cats are being idiots. Stop it! You fools. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. I missed that thing, though. I missed it super hard, and I want to get the collectible thingy if I can. So we're redoing this level. Ow. As I yeet myself into a wall. That is not how you win the video game. In case anyone was wondering. You know, I know the developers. I don't actually know the developers. But they told me, and I assure you, you're not supposed to just yeet yourself in the in the brambles to win the game. That's not a good way to, to do the video game. It's, in fact, a horrible way to do it. Uh, jeez. Keep... Uh, Alright, we're good, we're good. Huh? Huh? Ah, blah, blah. Damn it. I let go too fast. Yeah, this is very... This is getting very crazy fast-paced, like... <laughs> uh, it's, it's getting a lot of mechanics and a lot of stuff going on very... Quickly, I tried to press it. All right, come on. I want the secret thingy. Ah, darn. I let go of the stick. All right, uh, but at some point it just shoots you out anyway. You have like a few seconds to aim it. You can't just hold it like I was uh, expecting. Hmm. Yeah, I think of the way I'm doing it, I'm actually doing it wrong. I think I've got to calm down a little bit at that part, and... Uh, wait to use my dash, which... I'm not good at calming down. Okay. Because you need to... I think you need to dash once you get down there, and then catch that little, uh, platform right there. Just barely with the edge of your, uh, jump. I... that I did not mean to do. Because I don't think you can... yeah, I don't think you can catch it... Um... By landing on the platform first and then going to go get the little secret shiny thingy. Huh? Okay. Ah! Uh, please, please no! I... uh... I kept jumping back into it, I... It's weird, sometimes, like... I don't know, I, I'm having a hard time getting used to the, um way that these little electric ball things work. Because you can't stay in there forever. Eventually it shoots you out, so... I don't get a break... from thinking like I want. The game's like, no. No break from thinking for you! Okay. Okay, now we just gotta make it up there. Alive. Much... easier said than done. Okay, we did it though. We did it! I got the little star thingy. I did it. Very proud of myself. Okay, I think I see what we got to do here. So, kablooey. Uh-huh. Climb up here. Okay, well that didn't work. Uh, oh, never mind. We do this. This. Uh-huh, yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. God, I love, like, Celeste-style proficient platforming. When you do it well, it looks really, really cool. And that's probably my favorite thing about it. Unfortunately, I don't get to do it well much, but when I do, boy, does it look cool. Uh-huh. Okay. I think we get our dash refunded after we fall through one of these things, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this feels really good. A lot of the mechanics are coming together now to create something pretty satisfying. Huh? Oh, I think I was supposed to grab the wall there. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, jump. Boom. Okay, that was a bad idea. Uh, I did have my dash there. I should have just dashed. See, this is my problem sometimes. Sometimes when there's a lot of mechanics in these games, my brain just shuts down. My EXE stops, and I kind of just sit there like a fool and die. Which is not what you want to do. Okay, cool. This was a checkpoint. I was about to ask, is this a checkpoint? 
Oh, that's death. Okay, we don't we don't want you actually. You're bad. Okay, I was supposed to go down then. This is very good though. This is very pleasant to play, I've got to say. It feels like a I don't know, it feels like it gives me more control than something like Celeste or Meepoy does, which is nice because then it makes it less frustrating for me. Also, it checkpoints you in every single room, which is nice as well. Uh, grab and hold onto these things? Uh... Okay... Uh-huh. So those are just things I can hold on to. Uh... Oh, but I shoot out a certain direction. Okay, I see what the deal is now. Okay. Yeah, you basically wait. And then... Or not? Wait, what am I doing here? What What is this mechanic? I was... Got the wrong idea about what is actually... Oh! Okay. I see. It creates like a alternate reality. If you will. Where there's not things trying to kill me. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, there's a similar system in Celeste, once again, that does uh, the same thing. You get, like, portals that kind of change which dimension you're in. Always thought that was a neato mechanic. Okay. Wow, I'm very impressed so far, I've got to say. Uh-huh. What in the world do you expect me to do here? Okay, we do get our dash refunded after that, so yeah, I can jump down there like that, so... I think it's this... This... Boing... Boing... There we go. Okay, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Alright, you guys, uh... We want to dash through here... Okay... Hmm... Kabloosh... 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 Uh-huh. Oh, okay, we don't want you active. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Okay. But I see what I've got to do for this room. So we dash through here, dash through here, make sure we catch you. Then we dash through here, grab that, that up, oh, right into the spikes. That's not the way to do it. Over here, over here, whoop. Didn't press my X button fast enough. And, and, gotcha. And, we, I, I keep trying to take it at an angle so I can get better height to hopefully reach that thing in the middle again, the, like, grapple point. But, <clears throat> I don't think I need to do that as hard as I'm doing that. Yeah, I definitely don't. Okay, cool. Yeah, all of these elements are coming together in a really, really satisfying way. This is super cool. Okay, well, that that was not super cool. That massive screw-up we just had, that was not cool. Huh, okay. Okay, I see what was supposed to happen there. Gotcha. Yeah, things are getting pretty complicated now. Which is cool. Uh, grab that. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I wanted to get over there so that I could... Okay. Okay. Yeah, the rooms are getting quite crazy now. Why did I... Hmm. I'm bad. At the video game. Huh. And huh. And grab. And jump. Boing. Uh, okay, I gotta wait for that thing to come across, though, because if I don't wait for the thing to come across, then it's the evil purple energy, and we don't want the evil purple energy. We want the good yellow energy, which... I don't know, I don't like yellow as much as purple, but I guess yellow is a nicer color. Purple is usually... some kind of evil. So... I guess if I was gonna pick a color... Like, if I was gonna eat a berry or interact with some unknown object, and I had to choose what color it was going to be, I would probably choose the yellow one over the purple one, just because purple is so often associated with, like, poison and evil. 
So, yeah, if you had to ask me to eat to pick a berry, one kills me, one doesn't. I'm gonna pick the yellow one, probably. Which, I don't know, maybe I'm basing it off of stupid logic, but... The, I'm all about stupid logic. Uh, oh, come on, it was almost yellow. We were so close. Uh-huh, and huh, and huh, and... Okay, well, that was dumb of me to do. It does seem like there's multiple ways to do each level as well, which I do always like in precision platformers, too. Um, when there's multiple ways to solve a single problem, that's always fun. Give me that. Alright, there we go. That allow- okay, well, I went too slow, and now the evil electricity's back, so we- We have to go slow enough so that that thing below us isn't purple, but we also have to go fast enough that we can actually get over there before this stuff turns purple again. This is quite an involved level. Gotta say. And... Okay, or we can just do that. But then I didn't have a dash to... to do... that with. Um, hmm. Missing something here. The interesting thing about pre uh, Precision Platform is, is it's so easy to miss something obvious because... I mean, one, you're doing the same thing over and over again. What? Wait, why was I bouncing off of that? That was weird. Oh, wait, can you not... Oh, you do have to dash into it. Okay. That was my bad. I probably would have been able to do it there, but... I thought I would just be able to land inside that thing and do what I wanted to do, but that was not the case. Boom. Ow. Watch as- watch and be amazed as this fool makes the same mistake a billion times. Uh, and somehow I managed to perfectly curve around that thing and not grab it. <laughs> I love it though. This game is very, very good. I've- I gotta be honest, I'm very impressed with this one. And I didn't expect to be. At this much. Well, <laughs> god. I say I didn't expect to be impressed. No. I did expect to be impressed because the game looked awesome. But I didn't expect to be this impressed, is a better way of putting it. Uh, okay, but I keep screwing up because I keep wasting my dash when I actually get to that thing because I get scared and freak out. But yeah, this is fantastic and beyond what I thought I was getting myself into. So, that is always fun. <sighs> I'm having a hard time with this level, though. If I was- if I would if I was actually LPing this, this would be the time that I'd be like, Alright, we're gonna start cutting. I've screwed up enough like that right there. Um, so, I'll see you when I finish it, but no. This is just a little one-off look at the demo. So, we won't be doing that. We're gonna be sitting here and enjoying all of the suffering we have ready for us in this life. Hmm. Alright, I might give it a few more shots, but this may be the level that we quit on, but... This has been a frankly fantastic adventure so far. And not what I expected at all, as I've mentioned. Oh, God. Yeah, hmm. Can you... Hmm, can we make it through there with a dash? Oh, we can. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe I've been going about this the entirely wrong way. That is a little bit spooky because there's a very high chance I'm just gonna smash my face into those, uh, briars right there. Oh, see, like that. Well, I actually think I hit the wall there, but... Hmm. But wait, that won't work either because... Uh, yeah, I don't think that'll work either. Hmm. Because I'll get over on the other side of the wall, but I once again won't have my dash. And we do have to dash through the little yellow barrier things, I do believe. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Boom. Boom. Uh. Yeah, see? I don't think that's gonna work. Unless I need to go faster here so I get there. 
before this thing does. Nah, that doesn't work. Hmm. I want to beat it, I do. I do. I want to beat it. Okay. Boom. Oh, I would have totally not had it there, actually. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm going to get it anytime soon. So, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode off here. I do want to go back to the main menu just to kind of showcase this off a little bit more, but yeah. This was Lumion. This was a really really cool, pretty unexpected for me precision platformer, but I'm totally down for something like that. And this the story seems pretty interesting so far. We got like this fairy character, there's some stuff there. There's a fairy, there's this like wisp thing that's like, you can totally do it. Why is the why does the fairy want to escape the deep ocean? I don't know. It, it seems like it has a lot of really, really neat stuff going on. So this one's for sure going on the wish list and we'll probably for sure be getting a uh, playthrough when it comes out. And I'm probably going to go look to see if it has a Kickstarter. And if it does, I'm probably going to go back it. So... <laughs> Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this look at Lumion, and I'll see you next time for something else.